Hey guys, welcome back. So latest rumors on the internet suggest that this time the next gen Samsung flagship will get a sensor upgrade. Also, we'll be talking about some new updates regarding the Qualcomm's next high-end Snapdragon chipset which could be the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. But before we jump into the video, I wanna say that if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe to get more daily updates and give a like if you enjoy watching this video. So as we all know, Samsung was developing a new higher megapixel sensor sensor which might be used for the future smartphones. This new camera will be 200 megapixel HP3 sensor which will be a successor to the older 200 megapixel HP1. It is very shocking that older HP1 sensor didn't even debut on any smartphone yet except one phone the Motorola Frontier which also not even launched yet and Samsung is already working on its upgraded version. Although this new HP3 camera might come to the S23 Ultra as a primary shooter, this is what the latest rumors suggest and if this happens then it might be a huge success or it might be a total waste because these type of high megapixel sensors need highly optimization and it took Samsung three years to fully optimize the 108 megapixel and now let's see how much time this new 200 megapixel HP3 camera will take. Moreover to reveal the power of the HP1 sensor Samsung uploaded a video showing all the capabilities where they have did a test run by capturing the image of a cat and then made a ultra large poster just to show the level of details this camera can bring out. Although this is the older version of the sensor which is the HP1 and for the S23 Ultra we may see the HP3 camera. Anyways do let me know your thoughts in the comment section what do you feel about this. Now some news about the Qualcomm's next high end CPU the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 which will go head to head against the Apple's A16 Bionic chip. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will be based on TS SMC's newly 4 nm fabrication process where the power efficiency will improve significantly and reduce the power consumption as well. Also the 8 Gen 2 is a 8 core CPU where this time Qualcomm will use 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 cores arrangement where the first core will be high performance Cortex X3 core, 2 semi high power cores and 2 normal cores and at last 3 power efficiency cores. Also the GPU will get upgraded as well where this CPU will bring a Dino 740 which is expected to deliver at least 10 to 15 percent more gaming performance. So let's see how this CPU will perform for the S23 Ultra and what will be the temperatures as well. So that is it in this video guys do let me know your thoughts in the comment section what do you feel about this. If you enjoy watching this video then do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel as well. I'll catch you in the next one till then peace out.